Hi, my name is Bob and I'm renovating this 1973 Egg Harbor Sport Fish Boat. Made a little makeshift stop here so that I could um, cut all the pieces that go between those framing uh, beams all to the right length, same length. That's what we're going to start with today, cutting all these pieces to the right length. Then we'll get into um, the end pieces because they're the most complicated. <laughs> So here's a center frame and these pieces in the middle here, these six pieces that I just cut and those are actually sitting over here. Well, what we're going to concentrate on now is these end pieces here where they actually um, connect to this side frame. pieces are dry. I managed to get all of them done, even this one on the end that I uh, started doing the wrong side of it. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's good. Got them all finished. Uh, so the next step is going to be to sand these down. time you saw these pieces they were in my shop being um, epoxied and fiberglassed. Well uh, that's all over with now and um, I had to put two more coats of epoxy on these and sand it down just because along the edges here these rounded edges you know when you sand it you kind of get the fibers get exposed and you gotta cover them up. So anyways that's one of the pieces. There's six pieces all together but I'm just, I just have one of each here to show you. Now I did a little pre-fitting just so I don't uh, embarrass myself. So I marked all these 
spots where I'm going to drill. I'm going to put four screws in. 316 stainless steel screws. Okay, so I mixed up some epoxy. I'm going to spread it on the uh, back of this piece. I believe it will be top because I took it off and I couldn't remember where the top was and I had to make sure I had it in the right place. So I'm going to epoxy this and put some epoxy down here. I have to remove those wood plugs and sand everything flush. So after a lot of fiddling around to get these things where I wanted them, I finally got these two end pieces here um, in the right spot. Um, has an even gap all the way across with the uh, with these spacers, and the uh, frames are all gapped the same way. So just to help visually show what I'm trying to do on the other side. Since this side isn't clamped together, it might be a little bit easier to show what's going on over there. So we have this piece here, which is going to be attached to the beams coming this way. Probably put a screw right through on the ends. But that's not the only piece. And that piece is resting on this other piece that I put in the other day. And that's what's going to hold the whole thing from going down. But to this piece and along this face to actually bolt everything together, this is the other piece here. And I'm not going to put it in because it's a pretty tight fit right now, but this piece basically slips down and then this top will be flush with this piece. I can't 
see it, but I marked this with some pencils so I know how far to uh, apply the epoxy on that. And then of course I'll do this wood surface right here. Yesterday it was 70, no clouds in the sky, beautiful. Today, rainy, and it's probably about you know, mid 40s. So we're gonna have to just live with that. Uh, my plan today was to get the intermediate frames installed in the uh, center frame assembly with epoxy and screws and everything, but it's just too cold to do the epoxy today. So I'm just gonna get everything fitted in and uh, we'll epoxy it when the weather gets nicer in a few days. That's just um, how you have to work it here. But anyways, yesterday I had put these pieces together, one on uh, port and starboard side. This happens to be the starboard side one. And uh, yeah, I got them screwed and epoxy together. I showed how I put all these four screws in here. Uh, I had, after I had done that, I had plugged all these screws and this morning when I first got here I cut the plugs off and sanded everything down with 80 grit paper and then I sanded this uh, other side as well where there was some just remnant epoxy left on there. So these two pieces are both prepped and basically ready to be fitted into the boat or into this center frame area here. Uh, so that's probably one of the first things I'm going to do. That's the game plan anyways. So I've got the port side end piece set up. Uh, and so the first thing I did was put these shims in on both ends just so I can get the beam and the end piece in the same alignment this way. Uh, get that nice even gap all along. There's a bit of a gap here at the top on this side. That's because this beam is kind of twisted that way. But I'm going to put a clamp on there and that'll hold it in. That'll hopefully take care of that twist. I'm going to fasten these with a two and a half inch stainless steel screw. So I've installed the long clamp along the top and that closed up the gap that we had on this side. Okay, so I ended up moving or putting an extra, I put a clamp over here to get rid of this other one. So I have room to drill this top one. So there's the finished end piece on the port side. Still have to put the screw into uh, this smaller piece, but I'll do that, like I said, when I get all the other uh, pieces in. So I kind of got a little bit of work done uh, without filming here. Uh, just wanted a day of just getting something done without messing with the camera. Because it's been a little while and it was kind of rainy and uh, wasn't cool to be over here. But anyways, what I got done was uh, these pieces on the end here, I was able to at least get them installed and, and uh, epoxied on one side. I don't want to do both sides because I want to. I, I, I want to just put all these frame pieces in on this side, epoxy them, and then do the other side. Because pushing these down in there is such a tight fit that it's just not. It's just not uh, going to work to get the epoxy in there. So I've got the end pieces kind of in like that already, and now I'm fitting these. I fit these three pieces here yesterday, and there's two more that are going to go on the end.
and it's done, now I'll do the other side. Um, what I'd like to accomplish today is kind of finishing up this whole center section piece. One of the things I want to do is install the bolts, three bolts that are going to actually connect it to the side frames. So I'll have to do that on both sides. I'll have to drill these. Um, to do that, I'm going to have to take out this piece because uh, I can't get my drill in here to do that. Um, and then once I get those drilled, kind of clamp it back in place here, and then I'm going to permanently attach all these intermediate pieces. Um, start with on this side. I'll have to take this all kind of all apart and screw it together, but you'll, you'll see that as we go. So before I get started, I thought I'd just show you the hardware I'm going to use. It's all stainless except for this piece is a nylon washer. Got the camera on this way. This is the real tight one on the back side. And um, just doing this for now because Anytime I'm drilling through and I'm drilling this way, um, I want to put some blocking on the back air because it'll tear out and look terrible. As you know, it's going to look like that.
Today I'm going to be working on a couple of small frame pieces on the center, on the side frames over here. Um, I finished the center frame assembly, I removed it, I cleaned up the whole area, and now what I have left is just um, a couple little pieces to install on these side frames before I can take them out and get them out of the way because I have to do some work at the transom and I have to get all this framing out of here to get that done. It wasn't really on my list to do right in the beginning but it has to be something that has to be done so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I want to put a piece 12 inches over here so that'll just make that um, you know 15 by 12. <laughs> piece. So what I've done in the meantime is um, got this large clamp off. I've got all the pieces off. I got my screws in over here ready to go. I release this screw back here so that I can put this little clamp on to pull this piece that way to give me room to slide this down in there with room without messing up the epoxy. So the first thing I gotta do is just get epoxy on all these pieces. 